One of probably the most popular questions that I ever get is about finding hot niches. And fortunately, it's actually a very simple thing to do. You've just got to go out there and uh, see what kind of content is there and uh, find out what people are searching for. It's actually very easy to do. There's lots of tools available for you. Uh, when you find a hot niche, then that's that's a you know that's the uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So that's why devoting a little bit of time to this, you know, initially is such an important thing. It doesn't take any more work to create a website based around a hot niche than it does to create a website based around uh, you know a dead niche that nobody's interested in. So. You might as well do a little bit of research and do it right the first time so you maximize the value of your site and how much you're going to be able to make off of it. Now, um, first thing we'll take a look at is about.com. One thing that you can do there that's pretty cool is use the sitemap just to see what kinds of things are being written about at about.com. So let's go ahead and hop over to our browser and we'll take a look. Hey, so here we are at about.com, and you can see kind of nice here, actually. they got their topics that you can check out, so tons of different categories. If they've got a category here, it's, it's hot. I mean, that's just, that's the way it is, All right? Let's go to G, um, golf, gourmet food, guitar. Okay, I happen to know. All of these niches, graphics software, graphics design, all of these are hot niches. Health, you know, losing weight, um, relationships. I don't know if that would be under here. No, I don't see that. But uh, you get the idea. Anything that's in here, it's hot. Uh, what you can do, though, scroll down to the bottom and click on site map. What you get here, I mean, this is so cool look at this tons and tons and tons of niches okay so what's really nice is you know if you don't know of anything you'd want to get into you can't think of anything off the top of your head um, just come here I mean BAM that's it weight loss pages that's where the weight loss stuff is at and look at that all this content that they've got here why do you think they have all this content? Because it's a totally hot niche. That's why. Um, tennis. Tennis pages. Hot niche. Okay, look at the pages and pages and pages of content here. So, And that's what you're going to find with any of these. They don't make a category for stuff that they're not going to put a whole bunch of content in there about. Okay, camping. Check this out. Bam, it's going to go on and on and on. This is bigger than the tennis list. Look at this. I'm not even a third of the way through. All these articles. Wow. That is a huge niche. So these are tons of ideas for you. Okay, just, <laughs> you know, if you, if you don't have any hobbies and you really don't care what you do, just start at the top of the list. Uh, and work your way down, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just go for it. Okay, so that is about.com, and we can use that to get some niche ideas. Let's head back to the presentation and look at some other options. We can also check out alexa.com and look at their top 500 sites. Why would we want to go to Alexa? What is Alexa? Maybe you don't know. Alexa is a site that basically does research on other websites and ranks them. So how popular the site is. So if you look at a top 500, those are sites that like everybody's going to, right? So if you look at the top 500 sites, you're going to get some niche ideas, some things that people are totally interested in. Let's take a look. Here is Alexa.com. And again, they just, let me, it's pretty neat what they do. Um, like if I type in YouTube and I click search, what you're going to get is a whole bunch of stats on YouTube. Their traffic rank, number three. I mean, out of all the websites in the world, YouTube gets uh, the third 
greatest amount of traffic. Imagine that. How many sites are linking in? 709,000. It's phenomenal, right? Okay, so here we go down to top sites. And let's click on more. And this is the top 500 sites on the entire internet. Google, Facebook, YouTube, we know these, right? Yahoo, these are search engines. Let's keep going. Twitter, social networking there. Amazon, right? LinkedIn, WordPress. These are all, you know, internet marketing related so far. Microsoft, eBay. eBay is like the, you know, I don't care about what they say about Google. eBay is the biggest search engine. Flickr. And, you know, basically what you do is you just go through all of these and look for products. You know, you might, a lot of this stuff is going to, or niches, I should say, a lot of this is going to uh, be social media type stuff. A lot of it is going to be technology-based businesses, things like that. Uh, so you do have to kind of wade through it. But this allows you to see, you know, what what is it people are interested in? What are they looking for? All right, let's head back to our slideshow. And this next one is... I tell you what, one of my favorites, Amazon. Amazon is literally a stockpile of hot niches. All you got to do is go there and you will find something to get involved in. Even if you, you know, when I go there, I get like information overload. I get like ideas coming into my mind that I have to totally control myself because so much stuff there. Let's check it out. Now, here we have Amazon, and seriously, I use this for all kinds of research. If I'm going to maybe create a product or I want to get into a niche for flipping, you know, whatever it is, Amazon is the go-to website uh, for finding out what people are into. Uh, if we go over to books, believe me, all this stuff here, you can get distracted. Go over to books and click books, and we've got uh, here more spring new releases so you can find out you know what's coming out what's new over here on the left I mean this right here this is worth its weight in gold I kid you not New York Times bestseller best books of 2010 award winners all these different categories again if they've got a category here it's a hot niche to be in all of these you can just check them out they've got some stuff on uh, you can check out the Kindle bestsellers, best-selling books, new releases in books. Let's check out hot new releases in books, okay? And what you will have here, you know, of course, a lot of these are novels, but um, just scroll through here and find out what is it that people are interested in. Baseball. Weight loss is always something. There will always be a weight loss, new weight, uh, you know, some kind of diet, something released. That's because that is like big time popular deal. Again, lots of novels. Here is a slow cooker revolution, right? Just go through this list, get some killer ideas. And what I love about it, look at it says, hot new releases, right? What I love about it is this is going to constantly be updating. I mean, if you go and set up a site based on a niche and get everything running and list it, by the time you're done with it, come back here and there'll be new stuff. Uh, something else that you can start on. Okay, but again, just go to books and look at these categories. Outdoors and nature. And a lot of times you'll get categories and then you'll get subcategories. Look over here. Now we're doing... Bird watching, conservation, hunting, nature writing, all these different things. So you can get very, very specific and laser targeted if you want. Okay, excellent tool. Amazon.com. Use it, folks. Let's take a look at uh, our presentation. We'll look at the next option. I mentioned earlier that eBay is really the biggest search engine on the Internet. That's because... It does more searches than Google does. I mean, somebody comes on eBay and they do a bazillion searches. Plus, there's other websites that are working with the eBay search engine. 
you know, all over the internet. People are looking for stuff. It's just phenomenal. So what eBay came up with was this thing called the eBay Pulse. And that just lets you know, what are people looking for? It's a place for you to go and find out what people are going to eBay and looking for. Why? Well, so that you can sell it. You know, if you have whatever they're looking for, then sell it. That's kind of primarily what they do it for. But if you can tell, if you can see that people are looking for this, you know, it's a hot niche. It's a hot niche idea. And if you can set up a site that caters to that, then it's a good deal. It's golden. Okay, let's take a look. Now, I will tell you this. Um, for I have been doing this for using eBay Pulse for let's say two years at least and in those two years almost the same things are always in this top 10 <laughs> just so you know um, these are always wicked hot niches okay always but uh, you can check on them um, you know you can click and these are basically these are keywords these are things that people are searching for so if you want ideas of super hot stuff it's in there now they tell you here it's a daily snapshot of current trends so what you will find is on any given day some of these items here could be replaced because if something happens that Maybe there's a new movie released or there's a game that is aired that makes a team real popular or something. On any given day, something could pop in here and push something else down. But for the most part, these guys right here are pretty rock solid. Okay, PlayStation, Xbox, Wii uh, is not on here right now, but I've seen it on here a lot. iPod stuff's been on here. iPhone's been on here ever since they made the iPhone. So, and these coach handbags, I don't get this, but those handbags are always on there. I kid you not. All right, so these are hot picks. Check them out. Again, good niche ideas. Let's get back to our presentation. Now, as if what we have talked about so far is not enough, because trust me, folks, uh, you will have more ideas than you can shake a stick at just coming up to the eBay Pulse, but I'm going to mention another one. Magazines.com. And the reason that I mentioned this is because you don't have to go there necessarily, okay? Um, it's a great place to go, but it's basically a list of magazines. It's like a directory, so you can sign up and subscribe to these magazines. But the main reason that I want to mention this is because if you see a magazine and it's something that interests you, you know right away this is my 30 second litmus test it is a popular niche because you do not start a magazine company a publication without a huge surplus of interested users okay there's a lot of work involved there's a lot of personnel that has to be put into place uh, getting a magazine going is tough so it's only done in niches that there's a big demand so that advertisers are going to be excited about using that magazine to advertise okay and that you know should make a lot of sense to you if they've got a magazine for it then it's a hot niche so all right up next buzz.yahoo.com isn't that cool it's going to show you trendy searches on Yahoo, as in what all of a sudden are people looking for? And that's pretty cool because you can tell, uh, if, you know, there's a direction that things are going, right? You can stay up on the game. Let's check it out. Here we are at buzz.yahoo.com. Buzz, as in what are people checking out? Kobe Bryant. Uh, new movie coming out. I jacked a mirror. Oh, somebody got shot. That's terrible. Uh, refinancing bad credit. Hot niche. Very hot niche. Some politics stuff. John Deere construction vehicles. Hey, you know, maybe that's something getting pretty exciting. So anyhow, we've got uh, 1 through 15 of 41. I'll just check out the next page. 
and then we will move on. But you can see just what kinds of things people are looking for. And sometimes something might come up here that just uh, catches your eye and gets you excited, and you know that there's going to be a lot of searches on it. And when there's a lot of searches on something, let's say that a trend starts, right? And people are looking for something quite a bit. If you check this out and you stay on top of it and you catch that trend early and you set up a website with the appropriate keywords and content, Google's going to love you. Search engines are going to adore you. Okay. Okay, so that is basically it for the uh, hot niche research that we need to do. And again, trust me with these tools, uh, you will have no shortage whatsoever of hot niches that you can get in. And you can know, you know, if you found something with these tools, you know it's going to be a hot niche. Absolutely. All right, up next, we're going to start with our keyword research. I'm going to go over some tools that you're going to be using and the kinds of things that we're looking for.